guys welcome welcome back to the channel it's your girl Barbara here again if you're new to the channel welcome if you're my audible my goodie thank you so much for always tuning in to watch my video you guys already know the drill when it comes to vlogmas christmas and gifting yes this is a the period of gifting has officially started it has officially begun we all know during this month of december or even before december right around thanksgiving november companies get into work they get into full-blown work where they start creating unique gifts for gift ideas as i'm talking right now i know most of you guys have already stocked up on your christmas gift because i did i did a little bit of shopping nothing like compared to last year last year i went ham and you know you learn as you grow so this year it's all about meaningful gifts when you're gifting someone the first thing you want to have in mind is giving someone what they need what they like what they can actually use i for one i'm very particular when it comes to gifting if you can't give me what i want at least contribute to what i really want something that i'll cherish something that i'll use yeah you get the drill and i think most people are the same way even when it comes to kids did i even share you guys my um my 10 year old one he wrote that he wanted for christmas they had this toy book from amazon that came through i think they shipped that out so he was going through the toy book so he wrote in one of the pages where they had like the gift card for roadblox how you call it roblox he said my dream gift is a roblox gift card and i was like hmm that is what he wants that is what he wants and it doesn't even cost much they have gift cards for like 15 i mean 50 45 dollars where you get like 50 dollars they have gift cards for 50 dollars and above i don't know i'm not sure even something less that's not expensive compared to when i was getting him um nintendo switch tablet that costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars so at this point all he wants is a roblox gift card and that's all he really wants for christmas but of course i'm gonna add something that i feel like he needs and this is where it comes into play of knowing people yeah i believe before this gifting season people communicate people talk so when you're talking to someone you can literally understand they can slip in and just say something they've been wanting to get and can get or you can even look around them you can tell what they like something they are into you'll never see them wear it you'll never see them you use it and you'll be asking yourself like where's my gift where's my gift because when people are so nosy when they give people gift they start looking like is she gonna wear my gift why doesn't she use my gift i can't see it displayed you know that's why it's important to get people what they like people what they need i mean if you're close to someone you can even ask them like what do you need you know i don't really have to go out and get you exactly what you want i can contribute towards it so yeah it's the gifting month and i for one i also have a wish list for this christmas who knows someone out there might bless me god bless your girl number one thing before even going into my wish list i just want to thank god for being here today like how far he has brought me because looking back and i wouldn't have seen myself in this position that i am today but as someone who has a father that owns everything i kind of knew i have faith i know that god has plans for me and carry me on this journey so i just want to appreciate god and just say thank you thank you father for just being in my life and directing me in all i do i'm not perfect but thank you for loving me i mean the way i am you know i strive to perfection i just want to be better every day it's always room for growth i just want to get better every day so i'm very thankful to be here to be alive to be making this video today and i know since we are talking about christmas my greatest wish is to make it up to that day of christmas people have set wishes and before then they are no more People had plans for their life and they didn't come to achieve those plans. People had goals, they didn't reach those goals, you know, because their life was cut short. So I'm just trusting God. I pray for long life, not just long life, for good health. For good health because I want to be able to enjoy this life and health is wealth. You all know that health is wealth. So I thank God. So let's jump into my number one, number one, number one 
something um, material that I not really material value something of value that I want is just to be better on these streets of YouTube you guys know if you've been watching me you can tell that at least my quality has gotten better you know it's not where I really strive to be and that's leading me to the next gift which is a camera I know last year I talked about this camera thing and I still didn't get it the reason I didn't get it is because I kind of found a way to tweak my vlogging camera to be able to get a better quality so I became so comfortable with this quality that I just pushed to the side of me getting the Canon M50 I'm still gonna get that camera I love it my goal I have the Canon 70D if I can figure out a way on how to use that camera then there will be no need for a Canon M50 because I'm just gonna use the 70D for for my sit down videos and maybe get a blurry background because right now okay sometimes you really want to show your background like now of course I want you guys to see my beautiful background my wall is clean i have my christmas decor with the lights popping i like that i want you guys to see that but there are some situations where i don't want you guys to see like i can't film facing this way because i have a bunch of stuff there things are just not looking in place and i don't want that so this is where the cup the camera and the blurry background will come in to make it look even nicer even where i have things at the background is still going to be presentable so yes i need that let's get back to growth on this street of youtube i want i'm right now i'm a 9.3 k something my dream my goal my wish is to get to 10k i was hoping to get to 10k by the time we before we are entering into the new year but i'm not seeing that happen but i have faith you never know it just takes one video you know to go viral and boom you see good that's why i'm also doing a lot of shorts i will at least I, my goal was to post a shot a day but sometimes i just get tired i just it just keep my mom doing other things and i don't focus on pushing out my shots because i want to reach out to newer audience you know so help your girl if you're that kind soul if you can't gift me of course i love money i love other gifts but if you can't do that please help me share the video and if you're watching and you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please do your girl a favor hit on that subscribe button share the video like the video comment all these things i'm saying it helps the algorithm it helps youtube to push out your videos and one thing i've also noticed people watch videos but people are just so not in the mood to comment at least when you're watching somebody's video there should be something in there that strike you i know people watch it away from their phone they watch it from their big screen yeah but at least a comment a nice comment is very encouraging the likes you know just seeing it's it's just a form of it's just a form of encouragement it just encourages you to do better to work on your video to just continue to put out content yes we do love what we do i for one yes i love what i do but some sort of encouragement will go a long way right. money money why not who doesn't love money yeah. they say money is the root of all evil but money is the blessing to someone's life it solves it can solve all the problem bit trust me money is a good tool a good tool a good tool but not the love for money you like money but don't have that love your love should not be solely on money because money is this my life you know right now in this day and time we use money to buy pretty much anything but not everything right if you get in a relationship you put money in front mm -mm. don't do that don't do that because you'll be confused are they loving you for the money or they have genuine love for you so yeah i love i love money i love to spend money and i love to make money if you love to spend money you should be able to make money so i love to make money i don't sit and wait for people to give me money but if you're that person watch me now bless me so i can be a blessing to other people yeah i want to be a blessing to other people but this year has been not it has been i've been comfortable but it's been some sort of 
rough i've had to cut back on certain things i mean the year this inflation um i had to i was spending more on grocery like i did a year or two i was spending like twice as much on grocery so of course i had to cut back on other things Money gift cards yes yeah, good gift cards is another way to give to someone because then they can use that gift card i like like normal plain visa gift card or you can give me if you know where i do shop particular gift um particular stores you know like home goods cj max Wellington, walmart you know those are where the places i do shop and amazon i mean it's vast so you can get pretty much and pretty much everything from amazon so amazon gift card will be a good that just reminds me i have an amazon gift card that i need to use i need to use so for kids let's get into gifts now you guys now have kids ranging from 10 years to a year almost two years so gift ideas and we also have moms parents so for my mom i just like to give cool cash you know everybody know what they want they like what they like so i just rather give you cash to just get yourself what you need to make it easy you know i don't like to stress myself thinking what am i gonna get you want my get the bed for the kids or oh, that's i come in i have to use my brain for them because what are they gonna do with money yeah i'll just use the money to buy stuff for them so for my 10 year old my boy he loves to read so i'll probably get him a couple of books and for the family i want to get like some games i want to get a ludo game so we can play my husband and i we can play that the other kids they can also play that and puzzles puzzles for other kids for my older ones it's a good idea not the real tiny puzzle the one that can still be put together because there are some really really tiny ones i don't want that one i don't want them sleep all day you know working on puzzle because i don't have an extra space where they will revisit and go back and continue to work on it it's just gonna scatter and they'll never get to the finish line so yeah i think puzzle is a gift it's a good one for kids and one thing i want to get for the kids all of them all six of them except for the younger one is watch watch so I want to get watches for them for the young ones i'll get the one that um has the numbers the ones that are easy to read that are easy to read for their age i can tell time and also for all of them i want to get them like grooming kits i have to buy like stockings like so i can stuff them with things like maybe for the girls like lip gloss um scrunchy little necklace and a little body spray even for the men for the boys little body spray you know roll on and stuff like that work on their i just want to get a new set for them just little things you know cute cute stuff lip balm yeah because i don't like when their lips are dry i don't like it at all i always tell them you know always keep keep your lips moisturized that's why we never lack vaseline in this house this yeah and jason also he needs a bible because i remember my mom was telling me that um when she tried to read jason's bible psalms 91 the page is torn so i have to get jason a new bible because i encourage him to read his bible like at least a day before he goes to bed because he loves to read so he always reads the storybook before he goes to bed so i'm trying to balance it up at least he can read both read your bible even if it's for five minutes you know just go in there read the word and just nourish yourself you know with it before you get back on your storybook you can read your storybook till you fall asleep i think that's the way he just uses that to like help him fall asleep for joey tablet tablet is also a good one for kids but i'm not saying every year you go and buy your kids tablet some of my kids do have tablets already some i have a girl her tablet is bad so i have to get it get her a new one i already got tablets so i got four tablets so i have to renew some of them i have to like one of them don't have tablet it got broken and i also got joey a tablet at first i thought joey was not gonna be into gadgets but that boy has been into it lately and he's enjoying it he loves to dance he loves music so another thing for his age is something musical that he can entertain himself and have fun but something to help his cognitive and motor skills i can get like blocks 
or something that he can try to put together yeah, i think he will love that it will be good for his age and for your partner for your boyfriend for your partner for your i think another gift idea could be like or something you know sometimes men they keep giving out giving out and forget about themselves not all men do so that's where you come in you check if it's your husband you want to check his underwears his inner wears his maybe his airport if he's, he needs a new air, airport or just something or you can just take him to the store and shop for him my husband is that person he hardly goes to the store i just be the one buying for him but sometimes i look at it and i know he also has his own personal taste i know his style i know his personal taste but there are some things that i can't know it all so i, I might just encourage him take him to the store let's go do it you know? but he needs that time to just go out and shop because me i'm the one that i sleep at the store all the time i'll go to the store you know and for my mother-in-law i don't know now that she's here everything she wants is available what what could she possibly want oh i know what she'll probably need you know cash cool cash she has family back home so she probably need that to send to people back home so i know that's what she will really like and for myself like i said there's really nothing striking that i need i can shop for myself anytime anytime there will be a good gesture for i don't know what my husband's getting me money 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 i like money and when it comes to gifts you can either customize your gift you can buy the gifts parcel it yourself do like a cute nice little handwritten note you know that to, some pers to give it some personal touch and then you can ship it out or you can still buy buy directly from the manufacturer and you can they can type a note make it get into a cute gift box some companies you pay for extra but during this season i think maybe it's free yeah and you ship it directly to the person you know that's a nice one too but i love personal touch when it comes to gifts even if you are shopping online it would be nice to add like a little personal gift note not something generic just add a personal touch you know something that can connect you with the person so that would be a nice one because it will make the gifts really meaningful and also during this season okay we are in the month of december we are almost getting into a new year so i think journals journals are a good one i encourage my kids to write like just document your day document anything any memory that you want to share write them into your journal i did that for jason so we are since we are entering into a new year it would be a good idea to get like a journal for 2023 maybe a little five minute just a short i mean easy journal that way they don't have to really write much as they are still learning and building up their writing skills so journals will be a good gift for this season yeah not everybody loves to journal but you can tell the people that are in your lives you know who loves to journal you know who doesn't love to journal and even for those that don't love to journal you can get them into it you can encourage them to journal their experiences some people say journals are not good because if someone gets run into your journal they see everything about your life but you should know what to write in your journal some people are just some people go all out on their journals but one thing i love to journal but i don't know how to keep them so they are all over the place and the things that i love to journal are mostly spiritual i used to write my dreams a lot first thing in the morning when i wake up i like to write it down that way when it comes to pass i'll go back to it and i refer to it like oh i had written this thing this is what happened so personally for me if i have a dream and i don't write it down the first thing i wake up i'll probably forget sometimes i even wake up and i can't remember but it's always good when you wake up you know write your dream down first thing before you even go to pee if it's not that pressing just write it down i keep different journals at different places of the house there's one on a nightstand there's one in my bag anywhere i go if i want to write something down i carry that with me so yeah what other gifts ideas for moms you know perfume is a good gift idea perfume yeah you can never go wrong with perfume but let a person tell you the type of perfume that they like you know before you maybe you've heard them talk about it 
also if you get anything at least give them the gifts receipt that way they want to return if they can get what they like so i think that's good some people feel sad feel shy about doing that when they've been given a gift i don't think there's any problem i don't think there's anything wrong with that it's only but normal you want to appreciate you want to get something you like something you will use or something you will wear i don't really want anything christmasy for a gift i don't i don't want it because it's only for that season and i'll just keep it or put it away i want something i can use all year round so yeah and mugs they have different mugs little little gift ideas you can find all of those at the store so many things guys uh let me know your thoughts what's that gift idea you want to add in the comment section yeah so this is a gift idea slash my wish list yes i'm open to gifts why not why not guys so yeah the kids just got home thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you in my next video bye